Big Value, Big Business Podcast, Episode 11. Welcome to the Big Value, Big Business Podcast with James Lynch, where we talk with today's most successful marketing minds about getting the right message in front of the right people and getting the right people to become your customers for life. And now, your host, James Lynch. All right, welcome back, my friends, to yet another edition of the Big Value Big Business Podcast. I am your host, James Lynch. I am really big, big, big time super excited about my very special guest today. His name is Mr. Ezra Firestone. Ezra comes to us from smartmarketer.com, where he encourages others to share their message with the world through digital marketing. On smartmarketer.com, among so much great content, Ezra offers a free program, which is a seven-part e-commerce conversion course which is designed to double your sales, increase your average order value, and get you more business. One last thing, what really speaks to me in my mission here at BigValueBigBusiness.com is Ezra's motto, proudly displayed at the very top of his website. It says, serve the world unselfishly and profit. I love that message. Ezra Firestone, how are you today, sir? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on. And I'm really looking forward to have you share your philosophies uh, on service and how it relates to all matters of bringing big value to the marketplace. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, I'm, yeah man. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Can we start out, maybe get a little bit of history from Ezra, find out who he is and you know where he came from, how you got your entrepreneurial beginnings, and uh, a little bit about your journey and what brought you to right here where you are today? Sure. It's a, a very long story, so I'll just give you the, the gist of it. Um, cool. I grew up in an alternative uh, lifestyle experiment, so um, a hippie commune of sorts. And um, that gave me a lot of alternative viewpoints on life, right? On, on communication and relationships and business and that kind of stuff. Um, and th- then I uh, graduated high school, so I'll just fast forward. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I went to a normal high school. I, I, you know, I, w- I went to public school. I wasn't like a, like a weird sheltered kid, you know? Right. Um, and uh, I was looking around. I believe you get what you want from people who have it. So I was looking around at, 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 like, if you want to learn how to run a yoga studio, you find someone who's doing that, and you learn it from them. You want to learn how to run an internet business, you find someone who's doing that, and you learn it from them. And so I was looking around at college, and um, that didn't look exciting to me. There was nothing that I, I, I wanted. The people who were there didn't have what I wanted. Mm. And so um, I moved to New York when I was 18 and played poker for a living for a little while and ended up getting a job uh, working at a makeup studio and then a yoga shop. And... Um, I think we all get into this game, uh, the game of um, entrepreneurialism and, and having your own thing, uh, seeking some form of freedom, right? Like mm. location freedom or financial freedom or um, freedom of, of time and free, you know, whatever that freedom might be. And, and for me, it was a combination of, of freedom of time and freedom of location and freedom to, um, to have the resources to do the things I wanted to do in the world. Um, and so I kind of got started uh, with SEO a long time ago, uh, back in about 2005, and I've been sort of in the internet space since then, um, doing all kinds of different things and really specializing in uh, retailing physical products. And that's about what you're focusing on right now? Well, I've got a, a, a three different businesses right now. Um, I've got my e-commerce businesses, right, my physical product businesses. I have a... Um, information marketing company where I create and share uh, information in the form of short form videos and long form audios like this podcast with mm-hmm. my community, uh, a community of people who are interested in, in online business and, and uh, growth in their life in many different areas. And then I make that community of people who follows my content relevant offers, coaching, consulting, courses, services, etc. So E-commerce businesses, information marketing business, uh, business that's monetized through um, courses and, and events and things like that. And then a services agency where I do design and development work for other business owners. So three kind of business models that I have right now. Wow. And you've got quite the basis covered too. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Um, 
when so safe to say i usually ask the question you know was there a point in time where you really didn't want to work for someone else and you seem like you had that figured out from the get go even from when you were looking to go to college um but what made you think that maybe you had something of value to offer with your seo product your 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 um your e-commerce product value is um uh subjective mm -hmm. right Everyone has value to offer. It's can you communicate that value to a group of people? That's what it is. Marketing is all about communication, right? Um, the thing about like I, I got involved in um, – I, I was looking at like the world and how people spend their time. And <laughs> a lot of people spend a very large amount of their time doing stuff they don't enjoy doing, working for people they don't enjoy working for. And um, I started learning You know, when I got into the – the uh, when I first started learning about this stuff, I first started learning about concepts and mindsets around money, right? Like forget mm -hmm. about tactics and strategy. Let's think about the difference between trading your time for money and setting up systems such as e-commerce stores or businesses that work for you that aren't re uh, reliant specifically on your time. So when I was playing poker, I'd have to play poker for eight hours straight in order to make X amount of money. Now I've got an e-commerce business that works for me all night while I'm sleeping. So I started learning about the mindsets or uh, uh, shifts that, that you need to make in order to understand how to to build a business for yourself, and that was through reading books like The Cash Flow Quadrant and Rich Dad, Poor Dad and um, uh, Think and Grow Rich and Breaking Loose from the Money Game and The E-Myth. So I read all these books and, uh, uh, about that, that got my mind in a place where I, where I was ready to um, – where, where I had the frame of mind and understanding to be able to pull off my own venture. So the first step really is to get your mind straight about this whole process. And, and the way that I did that was through education, through books. And I recommend that as the first step. Whenever people come to me and they're like, hey man, I want to learn how to build an online business. I'm like, okay, the first step is to, um, to change your mind about money and change your mind about uh, what you can create in the world and what's possible. And um, that's step one. And then step two is putting together some sort of strategy, which is like, what can I do to add value if you want to use that particular lingo? What can I do? What kind of offer can I make a group of people that they're, they'd be interested in taking me up on? And all that takes is paying attention to a specific group of people, right? Like mm -hmm. if you look at my community of e-commerce business owners and online business owners and podcasters and stuff, they all need design. They all need development. They all need marketing training. Like I just know the problems and the things that they need and then I make them relevant offers based on the desires that that community has. So um, you have your internal interpretation of value being subjective how do you link service to that how do you effectively serve someone and be able to profit from them could you expand on that a little bit the only way that you really can profit is if is if the people who you are serving are actually it being, you know, if you're actually adding value to those people, right? You can't actually profit in the fullest sense of the word unless you're serving other people. Correct. Um so I mean, there are schemes and stuff like that, but that don't add any value that I wouldn't recommend doing because they all fall apart at some point. But let, look at a practical example. So if you look at my, um, my, my tagline is serve the world unselfishly and profit. And I believe that uh, you can't really profit any other way, right? Um, so, so here's a practical example that I run these events. And the event, it's like a three-day event. And, and I, I share with you over the course of that three-day event Everything that I know about online marketing that I can fit into three days, Facebook ads and conversion and mindset and business models and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's a free event. It's $97 to um, attend this event to reserve your seat. So For three days? For three days. Wow. Now, at, at the end of that event, I make an offer. And the offer is a very high ticket offer. It's like a $10,000 offer. And it's only relevant to like 2% of the room. There's only 2% of the folks who attend this thing of the three or 400 people that are in the room that this offer actually makes sense for, that they're ready to, to, to take this step, that they're ready to have someone design and develop a, a, a website for them and coach them through the process of building out an e-commerce business. Like, that's a very um, specific offer that's not relevant to everyone. So I'm able to serve my community by creating this experience that's very affordable and accessible to everyone, and then a very small part of that that community, um, I, I make an offer to them that's relevant, right? That that is uh, valuable and that's awesome, and I'm able to monetize this experience on that very small 
uh, offer that I make at the end. I'm able to make money and, and profit and support my family and, and, and pay my employees and all that stuff. And the people who are buying that package are supporting the rest of the group who can't afford to buy that package. So they're basically put, being, putting on this event for everyone through um, purchasing this product that they then um, – is a really awesome thing because I basically build a business for them. So that that's an example of serving the world unselfishly in profit. I'm able to serve my community. I'm able to profit. The people who buy this thing get um, a really amazing product that's super relevant to them that that uh, moves them forward in their business. And the people who can't afford it get an awesome three day event. So that'd be a practical example of of that. Does that make sense? Uh, I totally does. It totally does. And that that two percent is what pays for for the rest. Uh, I totally and. And the others are taking away such great value with the 97 buy-in for three days of just a... a and they may come back and buy something from you sure. once they're further down the road or sure. whatever. But I think the key is like, what are the problems, topics, conversations that are relevant to the lives of your community? To the, like, what are, what, what, is, what are these people talking about? What are the problems they're experiencing? If you're looking at a services business model, what mm. is it that they need help with? And it's really easy to know that if you are one of them. Right, I am an I am an internet business owner. I know the problems that I have. I know what I need help with. So, um, that's what you look at first, and then you say, okay, well, can I solve any of those problems? And if you can, then you've got yourself a services business. Yeah. So tell me, Ezra, how can a small business person, entrepreneur, solopreneur, really separate themselves from all the noise out there and really stand out uh, among the crowd? Here's how you can separate yourself in any business: actually care. That's yeah. all it takes. Not many people do. Everyone's profit driven. If you actually care about the experience of the people who engage with you and you articulate to that, that to them, if you communicate that to them, uh, you will do really well in your business because people will feel that. People feel you. They, it's particularly in a services business. You're dealing with people. Mm. It's all about communication and they feel you when you talk to them. And so you have to be genuine. You have to actually care about the results they're getting. And it does not matter if you're as good as the next guy if you care more because you'll You'll work with them longer. You'll communicate with them more. Like you will provide better service and therefore get the business, even if you may not be uh, quite as good at X, Y, Z. You can't, you know, vacuum the carpet as well, or whatever the <laughs> thing is. Like, mm. It doesn't matter because they feel you, and that's a that's a connection. That's a human connection that that they're getting from you. That's right. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what it takes for you to have a killer mindset. I mean, to feel awesome to be the very best you can be mentally and physically, and to be able to give it your all day in and day out. Here's what you need to do. Figure out how to be happy. Figure out like what it takes for you to, to enjoy yourself, right? What does it take? Does it take you getting a little extra sleep? Does it take you eating a proper diet? Does it take you um, having a, 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 a physical touch, like getting a massage or like having a touch with another human being? Like what is the thing that has you feel good in your body? What is the thing that has you feel good in your mind? Perhaps it's enough rest, perhaps it's enough break between work, and like if you do that, if you do what it takes to feel good and be happy, perhaps it's moving your body a certain amount each week, perhaps it's like who knows what it is for you, mm -hmm. but if you're willing to do the work to be a fulfilled and happy person, then um, things will come together in your life and people will want to be around you because there's not a whole lot of them, right? Like we, in our society, like we have a lot of victims and a lot of people who are not happy with their uh, daily experience. And so if you can get to a place where you um, create a life for yourself or create an experience for yourself on a daily basis that you can get happy about, and really it just takes changing your mind, um, then you will be successful in whatever your endeavors are. And you will be productive, and you will be accountable, and you will stay you consistent. You will. You'll do all that stuff. <laughs> moving you'll be to enjoying a good. yourself. Thank you for taking that at the root and just moving right to the to, to the answer. Thank you very much, Ezra. Where do you get your inspiration from? Your ideas? Uh, do you belong to any particular mastermind group or special communities? I get a lot of I get inspiration from a, from a lot of places. I'm very highly uh, networked at this point, so I yes. talk to friends who are in my same business model. Yes. I'd highly recommend joining some form of group. And I think for if you're just getting started in internet businesses, probably fast uh, super fast business. Um, James's membership is probably the best place to start because uh, there's there's like a thousand members from all kinds of different businesses, and you you're immediately part of a huge community that has lots of communication. And you can pretty much get any question you want answered. I think joining a community of some kind is probably your best bet. 
And, you know, I talk to a lot of, uh, I have talked to quite a few people, and they all say a mastermind, a group, a community. There's, that's one message that's consistent about so many people that I spoke to. Well, I mean, the things that you put your attention on grow, right? If you, if you ignore something, it shrinks. If you ignore your personal relationships, if you ignore your significant other, that, that experience goes away. And the things that you put your attention on grow. So if you're hanging out with a group of people who are all paying attention to business and lifestyle and mindset and having those conversations, you're going to experience growth in that area. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, how about the uh, current projects? Tell us what you're working on if you want to um, you know, ha- have us uh, visit any particular site or… Uh, uh, smartmarketer.com sure. and um, thinkactget.com. Check me out. I've got all kinds of stuff, but those are really the places you can, you can engage with my content if you're interested in this kind of stuff. I share my research. Um, I share what I'm up to. Um, and uh, I'm pretty good at it, I think. <laughs> cool. Do you have a podcast uh, outside of Think Act Get? Yeah, it's on smartmarketer.com. Awesome. And if they want to get in touch with you and if our listeners, they can reach you at smartmarketer.com. Yeah, thanks, guys. I appreciate you taking some time to hang out with us today and uh, look forward to um, hearing about how your business goes in the future. Yeah, man. I appreciate you uh, being with us, too. Thank you very much, Ezra. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. All right, I hope you enjoyed our chat today with Mr. Ezra Firestone from smartmarketer.com. You can find the show notes and the highlights of this interview at bigvaluebigbusiness.com, episode 11. Or just go to bigvaluebigbusiness.com and type Ezra, that's E-Z-R-A, into the search box for easy access. Hey, while you're on the site, take a second to leave a comment if you would. You can leave a comment either about this interview, about the podcast overall, or tell me what you would like to hear us talk about. Let me know of any questions or challenges you may be having with your business. I would love to be able to find the expert that would have the answers that you need and have them on the show. So talk to me over at BigValueBigBusiness.com. And hey, if you like the show, it would really mean the world to me if you would consider subscribing over on iTunes. Just follow any of the links to iTunes from the, anywhere on the website or search Big Value Big Business on iTunes and subscribe from there. I really appreciate it. Lastly, I hope we brought some big value into your day. You take care, and I'll be talking to you real soon. Thanks for listening to the Big Value Big Business Podcast at www.bigvaluebigbusiness.com.